YouTube, Vermont Prepper here. Excited to uh, show everybody that I finally got my uh, battery box working as it should. I wanted to go through everything before the uh, sun goes out here in Vermont. Uh, first off, I'll show you the panels I have. This is my charge controller. And you probably cannot see that, but it says uh, 27.5 amps coming in. Uh, to the charge controller and that equals probably about 340 watts and here's where I put the inbound connection from the panels right here you can see and I put my pelican box so that I could use it out in the uh, in the weather or keep it keep it uh, protected from from the weather uh, right there. I just got to make a couple cutouts still and there's my uh, monitor that I'm able to bypass any kind of other uh, ammeter or voltmeter. You just get this BMV 712 monitor from Victron and it's absolutely awesome. It, it tells you exactly what what's happening on your app on your phone. Uh, right here is the inverter remote as well as a, uh, a battery charge where I could do it from indoor battery charger right here. I have my, uh, my Genius battery charger that I use. And I uh, modified the end connection to a power pole right there. So my inverter shut off right there. We'll turn it on. So now it's on, it's 3,500 watts, pretty cool, uh, doesn't get hot at all, it actually works pretty well, uh, I've tested it, and it pretty much powers anything you want, right, I have it going through a uh, 440 amp fuse right there, uh, I have my two outlets on this side from the inverter, as well as two on this side, uh, three 100 amp batteries, And then right here is my solar disconnect. If anything happens, I just pull out that that switch, that uh, little connector right there. You just pull it with your two fingers, disconnects it. And then this right here I made for my uh, solar water heater. This is uh, another power pole connector and a disconnect for the solar water heater. And I'll show you guys that. This is my solar water heater right here. There's the actual heating element, a DC heating element. And you have a little spigot right there I did. Uh, it's all uh, insulated so that the water can't come out. I already tested that, so that's pretty cool. And I have it rolling on this brute, I made it out of this brute garbage can right here. And right here, this, this little thing right here, this tube, that actually tells me the level of the water so you know it's kind of a rudimentary way of doing it but as the level goes down you'll see the water in the tube go down as well all right last thing I'll show you is the four 100 amp or 100 watt uh, panels right here it's a sunny day in Vermont getting some really good sun even though it's cold uh, for 100 amp hour, uh, for 100 watt, 150 watt panels, and uh, they're bringing in 27.5 amps right now. So, pretty pleased with it, and uh, I hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, let me know. If you have any questions on, you know, how I set it up, you know, parts that I use, etc., I'll eventually put like a link for the uh, parts. In the description uh, that's a big wide view of it and uh, that's about it I just want to give you a short video it's finally working and uh, it, it uh, works pretty well you know I could power anything I had a vacuum cleaner running I had my refrigerator uh, I had this other solar battery I could even charge that from from this big box right here this is a uh, nature's power 
uh, with an extra battery uh, attached to an auxiliary battery. So it's a basically a hundred, uh, yeah, I'd say 160 amp hour, and it has an 1800 watt inverter in there. So I'm pretty good on power. And then of course my regular generator as well. So anyway, uh, Vermont Prepper out, and uh, feel free to subscribe, ask questions, hit the like button. That would be great too. Take care.